lovelies welcome back to another video welcome back to the family how are you all doing hope you all are doing well like how are you all feeling today hope you guys are doing great leave me your comment down below i would love to read your comment as usual i want to thank almighty god for another bright and beautiful day because you know what it's only by his grace so lovelies today i will share with you how to make your own effective rosemary butter guys lovelies this butter is a must try i'm telling you over here i have my fresh rosemary plant as you can see over there i have some amount i can't tell how many amount i have over there but any amount you prefer just apply you can never go wrong with rosemary so right now i'm removing all the stem from the rosemary leaf because this stem has some trace of water i don't want any water to go into your butter at the same time i want to thank you all guys i want to thank all my lovelies all my friends all my family all my darlings i want to say thank you all so much for supporting me your girl is so grateful god bless you all so so much from the depth of my heart like thank you all thank you all i'm just so short of words I, as it words can express how grateful i am and if you are new here welcome my name is jenny i'm into skincare and hair growth tips like the one you are watching if you like this video please give your girl a huge thumbs up so after i remove the stem from the rosemary leaf right now i will dry my up for two days yes because we are in the winter we don't have sun but we have a little bit of breeze outside so if you live in a sunny environment i think just three hours outside the sun it will dry up completely because I wash my rosemary plant because we have some trace of dust and some trace of sand so make sure you wash your plant and dry it up completely please don't put yours inside the oval it will kill the nutrient of the rosemary then after two days of me drying my rosemary plant the water has dried up completely because I wash my so i will advise you wash your rosemary because you don't want dust and sand inside your butter it's extremely important so right now i will go in with this my bowl to just transfer my rosemary plant into it as you can see So right now, I will just go in with this my jar. I will transfer my rosemary plant into my jar. Lovelies, this butter is amazingly great on your hair and your scalp. It stimulates your scalp, condition your hair, strengthening your hair, give your hair elasticity, make your hair to stop falling, fight against split and against any scalp irritation, stop your hair from thinning, fight against any scalp infection like alopecia, dandruff rough whatsoever so after i apply my rosemary into my jar i will go in with 100 ml of my sunflower oil if you don't like this one you can apply grape seed oil almond oil soya bean oil and all the wise so right now after i apply my oil i am going to mix everything together guys take your time to mix 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 and mix because you want all the nutrients to come out from the plant to saturate into the oil and bring out its benefit its nutrient so after i mix all my ingredients together i am going to cover it up as you can see then what i do is that i will go in with some welling water to eat up my oil from some minutes i eat my up for 40 minutes yes please and please don't cook directly on the flame because you will kill the nutrient of the rosemary rosemary is one delicate plant you don't need to process it that much just try this double it well method you are still going to get amazing nutrient result from it so i'll just cover it up for 40 minutes as you can see me doing it 
so lovelies after 40 minutes i'm going to remove my rosemary out of the water this stuff is really really hot so please be careful of your hands as you can see the oil has changed its color okay 40 minutes and look at what i got all right so right now i'm going to wrap up my rosemary oil i will allow it to sit for up to three days yes because you know what you want your butter to be effective so take your time have a little bit of patience it will help you a lot <laughs> Patient is key. The alignment to sit up for three days, as you can see, to allow the stuff to really, really cool down and also to bring out its nutrient. I'm telling you, if you can take this extra step, you are going to love your butter. So three days later, it's time to open my rosemary and let's proceed. So lovelies, right now I will go in with my hands like this, so just press some little air into the jar for me to be able to open it, then I will just open it without any form of stress. Look at how my rosemary is looking, look at the oil. Guys, if you prefer, you can apply this like this to your hair directly without even making any butter, you are still going to love it. So I will go in with this my stuff to remove the oil from the rosemary plant. Look at the beautiful color, guys. Please, when straining your oil, use clean stuff. Don't contaminate your oil. Don't contaminate your butter, okay? Make sure you use a clean stuff. So right now, I will just strain the oil out of the leaves. So after I strain, I share my oil into two parts. Yes, because the oil is much okay. Over here, I have about 50 to 60 ml of my oil. All right, so I will go in with 40 grams of my cow cow butter. Okay, lovelies, any butter you prefer. Okay, just apply. You must not do exactly what I am doing. But if you have all this butter, if you have olive shea butter, cacao butter, mango butter, palm butter, just apply. All right, any one you have, just apply. Then I will apply my shea butter. At the same time, I will apply my 30 gram of my coconut oil. Now I will go in with two spoon of my emulsifying wax. If you don't have this one, you can apply your bead wax as well. You are good to go. Then after I apply my wax, I will go in with one and a half spoon of my pure organic honey. Only condition your hair, give your hair shine, give your hair volume and elasticity. Only make your hair to feel super duper soft and moisturized. Then I will go in with two spoon of my amla oil. Amla oil is amazingly great on your hair. It gives your hair shine. It conditions your hair, stop your hair from falling and also stop your hair from breakage then i will go in with one spoon of my glycerin oil this oil also condition and moisturize your hair then right now i will go in with one spoon of my castor oil castor oil give your hair volume darkens your hair and thickens your hair then i'll go in with one spoon of my extra virgin olive oil olive oil moisturize your hair give your hair shine and also stop any scalp condition then i'll go in with my tea tree essential oil i will apply five drop each of all my essential oils lovelies any oil you have just apply okay any oil of your shorts you can apply you are good to go
So after I apply all my oil and my butters, I'm going to stir everything together as you can see me doing. So lovelies, here is the phase 3. Over here, I have this my bowl. I will just go in with some welling water. I love to use this method. Why? Because I don't want to over process my Water. I will put some amazing amount of my boiling water as you can see that I'm going to put my butter on top of it that I'm going to stir to allow all the butter to melt up completely but you can do yours directly from your flame allow your flame to eat up your water from your pot then you put your butter on top of your pot as your water is boiling your butter will be melting but I love to make this method more because it's much um less messy less work <laughs> your girl is so lazy <laughs> so after some minutes my butter has melted up completely as you can see then as usual i'm going to wrap my butter up put it into my fridge for up to 30 minutes to allow it to solidify a little bit like i always say in almost all my videos why i am covering it off because i don't want any water to go into my butter so after 30 minutes look at how my butter is looking it has solidified this is what we are going for okay it's not that hard but this is what we are aiming to achieve the right now i will go in with my hand mixer i will put it in the first uh the first line if that makes sense then I'm just going to mix everything together as you can see. Why I put my mixer in the first line because I don't want the old stuff to splash everywhere. At the same time, just mix your butter gently, delicately, okay? We are not fighting with the butter. <laughs> so just mix your butter delicately as you can see me doing. So lovelies, after missing, look at how creamy, how fluffy my butter is looking. Then I will go in with my spatula to just remove the excess butter out of my spatula as you can see. Then I'm going to scoop everywhere together. Look at how hard my butter is looking. Look at the strong consistency i'm getting and it's amazing guys yes so what i will do right next i will add my preservative i'll go in with almost 15 drop of my preservative guys please preserve your butter with this it will last you up to six months yes then after i apply my preservative i am going to miss once more again as you can see me doing like you want to miss a uh, with scoop miss a scoop until you get that perfect consistency you are going for as you can see i'm just missing my butters again then right now i'm going to scoop everything together here is the final phase of my missing and my scooping and look at how fluffy the butter is looking look at how fluffy look at the beautiful smooth consistency i'm getting a lovely trust me this butter is amazingly great on your hair you are going to really really love this butter then right now i will go in with my jar this year i will preserve i will store my butter this jar right here is clean and disinfect and sterilized please make sure you store your butter in a cool dry clean and sterilize all these effects container don't contaminate your butter okay so lovely yes i will apply my butter into 
it our here is the final look of our diy rosemary butter it can be used as a pre pool as a moisturizer as a treatment as a leave-in like any way you prefer to massage your hair your scalp you are good to go please when massaging the butter into your hair focus more on the tips of your hair it will help your hair to stop breaking and also stop your hair from having split and with this we come to the end of today's video thank you for watching if you like it please give me a huge chance up until i will see one in the next one remain blessed i know what peace bye bye i love you all